Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Murli from Semej College. And uh, in my today video, I'm going to discuss about the addressing part. Uh, in my last few videos, I have given you idea about the physical addressing and concept of logical addressing. In case of logical addressing, we have already discussed that it, ha it is managed by internet protocol. And uh, uh, this protocol has two versions. Now, in these two versions, uh, uh, well, first is IPv4 and second is IPv6. Now, today we will see some important points of uh, IPv4. Uh, it's a long session. That's why I will uh, discuss this uh, IPv4 in my, my multiple simultaneous videos. So first thing about uh, IPv4 is uh, developed by DARPA, Defense Advanced Research Project Agency in 1981. Fine. For the unique identity of uh, every node in a network, uh, IPv4 has been developed by DARPA. But developed by DARPA, but it is managed by INA. That's why most of the time we use term INA. INA is distributing IP. INA is managing IP. What is INA? Internet Assigned Number Authority. This authority is responsible for distributing IPv4 in all over the world. Fine. <clears throat> in case of IPv4, we use decimal number. It's a group of decimal number. And each group is divided by dot. That's why it is known as dotted decimal number at this point. Dotted decimal number. Fine. IPv4 has concept of 32 bits. And these 32 bits are divided into four groups, each having eight bits. Fine. Means there are total 32 bits. And these 32 bits are divided into four groups, each having eight bits. Means there are total uh, four groups using these groups. Different number combination can be formed and these number can be represented into decimal number. Okay. Uh, with this concept, it supports approximately 4.2 billion IPv4 addresses. Uh, it's not too many large uh, number because now in these days we have huge requirement of IP addresses. But uh, 4.2 billion IP addresses has been so smartly used that uh, still, till now, uh, IPv4 ba uh, based network is available in all over the world. Fine. Now, if we will talk about the transmission mode supported by IPv4, then in that case, it supports unicasting, multicasting, and broadcasting transmission. Unicasting means one-to-one -one communication. Multicast means uh, one to multiple node, not all node, multiple node communication. And broadcasting means one to all. Means with the help of uh, a IP address, we can communicate with one single node. With the help of IP address, we can communicate with few selective nodes. And with the help of IP address, we can communicate to all. We will see the example of these unicast IP, multicast IP, and broadcast IP in my next videos. Fine. Overall, these 4.2 billion IP addresses uh, have been divided into few classes. Why these IP addresses have been divided into few classes? These IP addresses <clears throat> uh, have been divided into classes just because to, to form different size of network. Uh, when we will discuss about it, uh, each class uh, separately, in that case, we will see, okay, fine, uh, well, class A supports a very large network, means in a single network, we can connect too much nodes, gradually in class B, less nodes, class C, uh, very less node, and class D and E is a different concept. Fine, so to form, different size of network, 
IPv4 addresses are divided into five classes. Okay, this is the uh, concept of IPv4. And uh, if you want to check IP address of your system, in that case, you can simply use command uh, IP config space slash all or simply IP config. With this command, you can check the IP address of uh, your Windows machine. And at Linux machine, if you want to check the IP address, in that case, you have you should use if config. If config, just I F C O N F I G if config. Uh, with these command, you can check I have IP address of uh, Windows and Linux machine. Fine, but when you will see the IP format, in that case, you will get it's uh, just like 192.168.1.10. But uh, this uh, IP address is actually a group of numbers. And one nine, just, just uh, as I have given example, 192.168.10.1 uh, means it has four groups. Uh, that's why I was talking about it has 32 bits and divided into four groups. Okay, so later we will see about the class specification, how we can identify the class uh, in my next video. Thank you. Thank you very much.